Have you ever wondered about the story behind the magnificent Golden Gate Bridge? The bridge, a symbol of architectural prowess, has a fascinating origin story that dates back to 1917. It all began with a vision, a dream, sparked in the mind of engineer Joseph Strauss. He proposed an audacious project, a bridge connecting San Francisco to Marin County, stretching across the vast expanse of the Golden Gate Strait. But this idea was not met with open arms. In fact, it faced a storm of skepticism and vehement opposition. Critics deemed it impractical and overly ambitious. They said it couldn't be done, that it was a bridge too far. But Joseph Strauss was not one to be easily deterred. He held firm to his belief in the project, refusing to bow down to the naysayers. And so, despite all odds, the ambitious project was born. With the approval secured, it was time to lay the foundation for this engineering marvel. On a brisk winter day, January 5, 1933, a groundbreaking ceremony marked the start of an ambitious project. The task at hand was not for the faint-hearted. The deep-sea construction of the bridge's foundation was fraught with challenges. Engineers and laborers alike had to grapple with the unpredictable tides of the Pacific Ocean and the dense fog that often blanketed the bay. Working in such conditions was no mean feat. The ocean's floor was a treacherous terrain, and placing the tremendous weight of the bridge's foundation required precision and a deep understanding of geotechnical engineering. Despite these hurdles, the team's unwavering resolve and innovative spirit transformed the impossible into the possible. It was a testament to the human spirit and the advancements of modern engineering. The foundation was set, and the stage was ready for the next phase. Tower construction, a significant challenge, was the next step in bringing the Golden Gate Bridge to life. Erecting the two main towers was a feat that required not only architectural genius, but also an iron will to overcome the elements. Harsh weather and high winds were constant companions to the workers, transforming an already daunting task into a true test of endurance and skill. Each tower, rising over 700 feet above the water, was a masterpiece of engineering. Withstanding the relentless battering of the Pacific winds and the weight of the bridge itself, these towers were built to endure. Every rivet, every beam, every piece of steel was meticulously crafted and placed, ensuring the longevity of the structure. The construction of these towers was not just a physical endeavor, but a testament to human resilience and determination. With the towers standing tall, the bridge was starting to take shape. The next phase was to connect the towers, a feat achieved through the use of massive suspension cables. Now imagine this. Two main cables, each more than 7,000 feet long, strung from one tower to the other. Each of these cables is composed of over 27,000 individual strands of wire. That's enough wire to wrap around the world more than three times. These cables were not laid down all at once but rather, strand by strand. A single wire was first pulled across the towers using a boat and pulley system. This wire served as a guide for the rest, which were then carefully added one by one until the full thickness of the cable was achieved. This meticulous process was not only a marvel of engineering but also a testament to human tenacity and ingenuity. After all, these cables still hold the record for the longest suspension bridge main span in the United States. With the cables in place, the bridge was nearing completion. Now came the final and perhaps most perilous stage of construction, assembling the deck. At this point, our beloved Golden Gate Bridge was beginning to take its recognizable form. But the task was no small feat. The deck, a vast roadway suspended over the churning waters of the strait, required precision, courage, and a keen eye for safety. Each steel section was hoisted high into the air, carefully guided into position by a team of dedicated workers. These brave souls were protected by stringent safety measures, including safety nets, harnesses, and even the cutting-edge hard hat, a novelty at the time. A symphony of engineering prowess, human courage, and meticulous planning, the assembly of the deck was a sight to behold. Each piece locked in place, forming a testament to human tenacity and ingenuity. The deck was now in place, and the bridge was ready for its grand unveiling. The Golden Gate Bridge, a marvel of the 20th century, was coming to life. Finally, after four years of hard work, the Golden Gate Bridge was ready to greet the world. It was a moment of triumph, and a testament to human ingenuity. The grand opening took place on the 27th of May, in the year 1937. But before the cars could start their engines, something quite extraordinary happened. The day before the official opening the city of San Francisco hosted Pedestrian Day, 
a unique event that allowed the public to experience the bridge in a way they never could again. Picture it. More than 200,000 people, each eager for their turn to tread on the freshly laid road of the Golden Gate Bridge. The excitement was palpable. From dawn till dusk, a sea of people flowed across the bridge, marveling at the engineering marvel that was now a part of their cityscape. Children, parents, grandparents, friends and strangers alike, they all came to be a part of this historic moment. They walked, ran, roller skated and even tap danced their way across, marking their presence in the annals of the Golden Gate Bridge's history. Can you imagine the noise, the chatter, the laughter, the click clack of shoes on the bridge's surface, the distant honk of boats in the bay below? It was a symphony of celebration that echoed around the San Francisco Bay. Then, as the sun began to set, the bridge was cleared. The following day, the Golden Gate Bridge was officially open to vehicular traffic. The first cars to cross were led by a motorcade, their headlights piercing the early morning fog, symbolizing the dawn of a new era for San Francisco. The grand opening of the Golden Gate Bridge was a spectacle to behold, a testament to the city's resilience and ambition. It was a day when a dream became a reality, a day when the impossible became possible. With its grand opening the Golden Gate Bridge was no longer a dream, but a breathtaking reality. A reality that continues to inspire and captivate millions around the world, even today. Since then the Golden Gate Bridge has stood as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. This monumental structure painted in international orange to make it visible through the dense San Francisco fog, has become one of the most photographed structures in the world. It's a magnet for artists, photographers and tourists alike, drawn to its majestic beauty and iconic status. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, the bridge plays a crucial role in San Francisco's tourism industry. It's a must-see attraction for anyone visiting the city, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding bay and skyline. Each year, it draws millions of visitors from around the globe, eager to walk its length, cycle its paths, or simply gaze upon its grandeur. The bridge also serves as a vital transportation link, carrying roughly 100,000 vehicles daily. The Golden Gate Bridge, a symbol of hope and resilience, continues to inspire millions around the world.